Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you're here today. Today I'm doing a special video and it is about what's on my bucket list and um, if I have done some of this stuff and I have pictures of it, I will post it. I know I have done one of these things on my bucket list. I was looking at it the other night and I was like, hmm, that would be an interesting video to do. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know what I got on my bucket list, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, let's get started. I don't know exactly how many things are on this list, but I do know it's a lot because there's a lot that I still want to do that I have not done yet. So, alright, the first thing is write a letter on Juliet's wall in Verona, Italy. I saw this on a movie called Letters to Juliet, and I loved the idea. Like, there's people that will actually write letters, like, to Juliet from Romeo and Juliet, and um, in the movie there was people that, like, was part of, like, a society that wrote letters back to her. I don't necessarily know if they still do that or not, but I thought it would be cool to say that I did that. I wrote a letter to Juliet in Verona, Italy. Um, the second thing is donate blood. I am deathly afraid of needles, but I have like three tattoos, but, um, <laughs> I am afraid of needles. I have never donated blood before. Um, at my work every single year, they do a blood drive and every year I just happen to be off on that day that they do the blood drive so I have not ever donated blood before and I think it would be pretty cool to do that so rope swing into the water never done this I think it would just be so cool to do this um I came close to doing it one time but we couldn't exactly get the rope on the tree <laughs> the right way and it like broke off so none of us were willing to test it out so yeah, that would be cool. And then go on a Disney cruise. I have been to Disney World, and that's actually on my bucket list, but anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. But I have not been on a Disney cruise, and I heard that they are so good, and I just cannot wait to one day go on a Disney cruise. Visit Buckingham Palace. Okay, if you know me, you know that I am that I love the royal family. Like, I love learning everything about them. My fiancé sometimes will watch things with me on the royal family, but sometimes he won't. Um, but yeah, I am like, I, I have like, I've seen that show, um, it's called The Royals on Netflix. It's like a Netflix original. And it's about Queen Elizabeth II when she was younger, when she was just starting out her reign. And, um, I've seen, like, the inside, you know, I'm pretty sure it's, like, based on the inside of it, but I don't really know. But anyway, it, I think it would be really beautiful, and it would be really nice to just view Buckingham Palace like that, but anyway. Um, be fluent in another language. That would be completely awesome, and I actually tried that when I was in high school. As some of you know, if you watched my TMI tag, I'm Italian. Um... I am also Polish and German, but I'm more Italian than anything. I have more Italian inside me than anything. But um, when I was in high school, I was not offered, the only kind of uh, foreign language I was offered was French and, it and Spanish. And Spanish is pretty close to Italian, not the same, but pretty close. So I figured, oh, if I can learn Spanish, then I can learn Italian. Yeah, no, it didn't work out. <laughs> Like that I I learned Spanish I mean you know the simple things like hola como estas you know stuff like that but um not nothing like too big um I'm still trying to learn Italian so that I can speak it um but yeah I think it'd be cool to be fluent in it it'd be pretty awesome go to an opera I have been trying to do this for the past like two years, but every time that I have money to go and buy tickets to an opera, they're either sold out or they're just too much money for me to even 
pay. Like, it's just ridiculous how much they actually charge for that. But, um, I think it would be cool to go to an opera. Um, the top opera that I actually want to see is uh, Phantom of the Opera. I was obsessed with that movie when I first watched the movie. I was obsessed with it. And I think it would be pretty cool to see Phantom of the Opera in person. It would be pretty cool. Visit Disney World. Okay, I actually have been to Disney World, so I can cross that off my bucket list. Um, I will post a picture here. Me and my fiancé about a year ago went to Disney World. And it was, it was awesome. It was like more than what I expected. And it was just really awesome. Um, yeah, my dad had always been promising to take me to Disney World and he was finally able to. So he sent me and my fiance to Disney World and it was pretty awesome. We went on the week of Valentine's Day and it was, it was, it was awesome. That's all I can explain it is <laughs> it was amazing. Um... Visit the Antelope Canyon in Arizona. I I went to Vegas. Um, I can't remember how many years ago. It was a few years ago for work, and um, we you know saw we like saw pictures and stuff of the Antelope Canyon in Arizona. But I think it would be awesome. My coworker has actually gone there and he's shown me pictures and it's just like it's so beautiful I I would love to go there and just walk around in them and take all these bomb pictures that everybody else takes have my own movie theater in my house that has been a dream of mine since I was a kid to like have my own movie theater and be able to just like you know make popcorn and just stay at home and watch my movies and I think it'd be pretty awesome Participate in a color run. I have not done this and I have wanted to do this for so long. I think it would be so awesome. Visit Salem at Halloween. Okay. I was never obsessed with like Halloween. Or I was, but not like really up until like about six years ago when my fiance, he got, he really got me into scary movies. And I started, like, getting really, really into them. Like, to the point now where I I gravitate more towards scary movies than any other movie to watch. Because I absolutely love them. Um, and I think it would be pretty cool. My coworker, she told me that she went to Salem during Halloween. And it was pretty cool. It was really spooky. But it was cool. And I've been wanting to go since she told me. Break it down. Okay. <laughs> um, adopt a child. I know I will one day do this. I have talked to my fiance about it and we both have talked about wanting to adopt a child one day and um yeah. There's a lot of children out there that have no family or some people just don't want to raise the children that they have and I think it would be awesome to give that child that's not wanted or, you know, is like stuck in a foster home, an actual home that they can call home. I think it would be pretty cool. Uh, visit all 50 states. I, I'm actually wanting to do that with my fiance. Um, I have talked to him about it before, but, um, never went into depth about it, but I'd be willing to do it with anybody that would want to go with me, really. Um, visiting every state and I actually found this idea on Pinterest of you take like a picture of you and your significant other or you and somebody that you went with went there with and you like have a map of the whole United States and then you just put the picture where you took it you know like in what state like if you took it in Florida you put it in Florida and I, I just think that's so cool I want to do that one day I think it'd be awesome Go on a girl's vacation. I cannot believe I am 28 years old and I have not been on an all-girls vacation. I think it would be absolutely cool, but you know what? It's okay because this year, for my bachelorette party, we're going to be going on a girl's vacation anyway. So, it's, it's all good. See the Northern Lights. I actually saw this thing on, I believe it was Facebook, that you can, like, rent these, like, 
igloos that have windows like the whole igloo is just a window it's like and it and you can lay in your bed and you can watch the northern lights at night i think that would just be so cool ride in the limo i cannot believe that i have not done this like i cannot believe that but it's all right one day i will do that go to a masquerade ball oh my gosh i have been wanting to go to one for so long you guys it's like crazy um I think it'd be pretty cool. You just basically like dress up in a fancy gown and then you just like wear a mask the whole time. I think it'd be pretty cool. Pay a stranger's restaurant bill. Eventually one day when I'm financially stable enough, I would love to do this like regularly, not just like one time, like regularly. Um, there was one time where I, uh, during Christmas time, I had extra money and I went to the store to buy something um, that I needed to complete my Christmas list and there was this guy that was in front of me and he was like I think five dollars short or something and he really wanted to get this toy for his kid and I was like you know what just put that whole thing on my bill and I'll pay for it the look on that guy's face he was so appreciative and that just makes me feel good inside like if you're watching this and you've never done something like that and you have the chance, do it. I I cannot describe the feeling that it gives you. I mean, not even just them being appreciative, the fact that you are just like that good of a person, like it's amazing. Be a part of a flash mob. I've never I've never really seen it to be honest, so I don't really know how you go about doing that, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Make a call from a London phone booth. I really don't even know if they still have those in London. If any of y'all know, let me know. Because I think it'd be pretty cool. I don't even know if they even work these days. But hey, you never know. Do a paint balloon, or do paint balloon darting. Basically, this is when you fill balloons with paint. And you like pin them on like a wall or a board or whatever. And then you throw darts at them. That would be pretty cool. Um, go on an African safari. If you don't have that on your bucket list, you should totally have it on there. I mean, I when I went to Disney World, I kind of did go on an African safari, but we weren't really in Africa, so I mean, I guess it really wasn't. But if you want to count that as it, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Jump into a pool full of jello. I think this would be totally awesome. I think everybody should do that. I think it would be awesome to just jump in a pool full of jello. Like, who can say that they've done that? Visit Pompeii, Italy. I have been wanting to visit there since I saw the movie Pompeii. I like, I started thinking about it and I was like, that would be pretty cool to visit Pompeii, Italy. I think it would be pretty cool. Get tickets to the Ellen DeGeneres show. I am such a huge fan of Ellen. I think she is hilarious. She is like the funniest person I've ever I've ever like watched before and I think it would be so cool to go to her show. See the Roman Coliseum. I think that would just be awesome. I've never been to Italy, so you know that's one thing on my list that I would love to do. So when I do eventually go to Italy, a lot of this stuff will be checked off my bucket list. Visit Bora Bora and stay in an ocean hut. I actually hope to be doing this soon, but it probably won't happen. I don't know if you guys know, but Tarte is, um, Tarte Cosmetics, they're doing a giveaway where they're sending you and another person to Bora Bora for, I can't remember, I think it's a week, but I can't remember for sure. But yeah, they, um, I've, I've really hope to do that soon but probably not but you never know you never know donate hair to cancer patients okay I have a picture of what my hair looked like before and after and so I guess I'll just post a picture of that um I actually have donated my hair to cancer patients and it was over okay it was over 22 inches I believe my hair was really, really long. Like, it was almost to my butt. That's how long it was. It was really long. Take a photo every day for a year. 
I don't know if anyone's ever done this, but honestly, I'm thinking about starting it next year. Taking one photo for the whole year and then, like, keeping it, like, you know, in, like, a book or something. I think it'd be pretty cool. You can look back on it and see what you've done for a whole year. <laughs> be pretty cool. Uh, fly first class. I've never done this. It would be something that would be awesome, you know. I've heard it's really nice, but I've never experienced it. Have a walk-in closet. I have yet to have my own walk-in closet. I've always wanted a walk-in closet to where I can, like, you know, actually put purses and shoes and all my clothes there. Like, ugh. And I'm talking about, you know, them walk-in closets like Jaclyn Hill has. That's, that's the kind of walk-in closet I want. Throw a dart at a map and travel to that place wherever it lands. That would be so awesome to be able to do that. Like, you just throw a dart to the map and then wherever it lands, you just go. That would be awesome. Give a shelter pet a home. I've actually done that and I will post a video of my beautiful baby. His name is Duke. And he's actually going to be four years old next month. And I absolutely love him. He's a booger butt, but I love him to death. Um, go Zorbing. Okay, Zorbing is those, like, plastic bubbles that you, like, go in and you, and you like, run on the water with it. I think that would be so fun. <laughs> I've seen it so many times, but I've never actually done it. Go on a no-budget shopping spree. Tell me that isn't on everybody's bucket list. Swim with dolphins. This is one thing I've wanted to do since I was like 16 years old. I've always wanted to swim with the dolphins. I love dolphins. If you don't know, that's like my favorite animal of all time. Go to a drive-in movie. I actually did this about, about six years ago with my fiance. He was the one that first took me to my first drive-in movie. And it was a good experience. I highly recommend if you can do that to do it and last but not least marry the person I can tell everything to and that's my best friend and I will actually be doing that this year I will be marrying my fiance this year in August and I'm so excited to be able to finally say that I can marry my best friend um he is my best friend I can tell him everything and I can open up to him and no matter how bad it is he understands and I couldn't ask for a better man anyway before I get emotional that's all that's on my bucket list um if you have any that's on your bucket list that's on mine let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and um I hope y'all are having a good day or night wherever you are. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.